So what are we doing today? Well, remember the area we subsoiled? We gotta do something to it. Stick with me and I'll show you. All right, so what's going on? We got, we subsoiled this little small pasture just before the rains all hit. And we've got about two, we got two rains on it, I believe. Between the two rains, we ended up with about, I think it was four, five, six, six inches, I think, total, something like that. So, you know, we, we got some decent rain. Um, but after we had subsoiled this, it broke up the ground pretty good. And so we ended up with a lot of clods, big, bigger clods. and uh, the rain really did not do much with the clods. It, it kind of broke it up a little bit, but not very much. So my plan is, is to go in here and break some of this up. So you can see this clod, here's my foot next to that clod. And I got big clod hoppers. So there, we, we have this all over out here. And I would like to get rid of this where it's smoother, especially if I'm going to shred it or anything like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a drag across all of this. I thought about running a disc across it, but then it would just tear the grass up. And this grass is actually growing pretty good. Uh, I can't not complain about this grass at all. So I don't want to tear up the grass, but I would like to get the clods down. Now that means that that's probably going to cover up some of the grass, but that's okay. I can deal with that. Uh, it'll grow right through it. So, so my redneck engineering over here, a couple of tractor tires that I have, I got it kind of redneck chained to the box blade. And I'm just going to start dragging this across it and see what it looks like. It really won't mess, mess up much of the uh, work that we did, I don't believe. I'm just dragging the clods down. Now, I believe we'll still get water down in this if we, we need it. I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna get to dragging this. It is busting it up. So now the question is it is it doing any good? Well, Actually, I think it is. It's busting the, some of the bigger clods up and flattening out a little bit. This is the area that I have not gone over. And I know it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a pretty good size clod there. And it's there's holes in the ground here. And of course, that's what it's supposed to do on the subsoil. And then this is the area I've drugged. And you can see that it's flattened it out a little bit. 
not, it's not doing a super great job, but it's doing a good job. And I think this will work. Okay, so let's talk about what we've done here. So I went, went up and down the field in the direction that uh, I had subsoiled. And after I finished a portion of it, I decided to go across the field. And that actually helped smooth out things a lot better than what it was. But I had to go with it because it was too rough to just go across. The field looks a lot better. It's smoother now. I don't have the huge clods I had before. Um, so I think this is worthwhile, I really do. You can see that this now looks more smooth and it's easy to walk across compared to what it was before. It was, it was really rough before and now it's much, much smoother. I think this is worthwhile. Uh, I don't know if it affects the subsoil. I don't think so because the compaction has been already you know, pulled up from subsoiling it. So it's not like it was uh, before I subsoiled it at all. It still has the divots in the ground uh, where, those, where the subsoilers went in. Those are still there. It's just not as, they're just not as pronounced as they were before. I'm sure I filled in some of, the, some of that area with dirt, but I don't think that's gonna hurt anything. Um, especially since we've had about, since I subsoiled this, we've probably had close to six inches of rain since I have subsoiled. And that's been a big benefit. So, hey, look, I hope this is helping somebody. This is what I decided to do. It broke up the clods. It made it a little bit smoother out here. And it's just better. I'm not finished with it, but I'm going to keep on going on on this. It's going to take a little bit longer than I want to. So today you got to see me trying to smooth this thing out. I don't know. You know, I'm not a subsoiling expert. All I am is just a guy out here trying to make it with what I have. So I used a couple of tractor tires and I ran over this thing and I smoothed it out. Well, I think there's a big improvement here. Until next time, thanks.